I'm getting so freaking sick of playing this level. <laughs> Greetings all, Blue Knight. Welcome back to Star Fox 64. Previously, we went through the core of the Lilac system, Solar, and took out the bioweapon there, the Volcane. Today, we'll be heading to Macbeth, but the reason why I'm getting sick of playing that level is because this is my third time having to re-record this. Here's the story. I had this video finished a while ago, but when I went to go back and render it, my footage was somehow corrupted, probably from a laptop freeze or a shutdown, but in any case, the footage got corrupted and I'm having to replay this level again. After getting interrupted and actually going to the level after Macbeth, which means I have to play through the entire game up to this point again, I'm having to redo this for probably a third time, at least by my count. But in any case, Let's just finish up the medium path right now. The sooner, the better for my sanity. So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox! It'll be a piece of cake, General. Good luck. Now we're back in the Landmaster, similar to Titania. Those two levels share... Those are probably the only two similarities those uh, levels share. Not only are their names based off of the William Shakespeare play in Midsummer Night's Dream, but they're also both Landmaster levels, the only two Landmaster levels in this game. But now we're at the Forever Train, and as the name implies, this train does go on forever, but by the time we reach the end, if there it isn't end point to it, so it's cl clearly a lie. Very clearly a lie. So the backstory to this uh, planet is that long ago there was a geological event that shrugged the core of Macbeth, but it was still able to preserve life and contain minerals. And engineers, scientists, and miners were able to harvest these and make money off of them. And although there was supposed to be enough wealth for everyone, there was a lot of CEOs that wanted to take over this planet with buyouts and takeovers. All this infight led to Andros easily invading Macbeth and making his own weapon supply base. It actually makes sense in the context of the story that will be coming here so we can cripple Andros' weapon supply and giving us an advantage in the long run. So I kind of like that if you go into the bit of the background of Macbeth. But anyways, let's just get that gold ring first, we can extend our shield meter. If you take out each of the cars, they are worth one point each. It's best to have a lot of bombs here so you can take them out very easily. They probably take one or two at best for some of them. But make sure you leave the cannon cars active though, because they'll shoot some bowlers at you with, which are worth one point. And it's also helpful to take out those fuel tanks afterwards so they can take out multiple cars at once. Let's take out the other cannon car, which means we're getting points in this section, but oh well. Hover up here, and you'll get another gold ring, which is very well hidden. I actually didn't know about this for the longest time until I just played through this game again recently. And by recently, I mean plenty of times. This game's been practically my life for like the last five to six months at best. <laughs> I've been playing this since the summer, so that should give you how, a time of how long I've been planning, this up, planning out this project. <laughs> We have to cover up all of these barriers. Don't spend your G diffuser meter when you're hovering like I did. Because you have to hover over multiple barriers in that section. Take out that fuel tank. So take out more can cannons and more cars. There's one more explosive up ahead that we could take out. But the car in front of it won't be destroyed because that's where the boss is. There are some silver rings in these platform door thingies. Platform door thingies, way to describe them. Take that out. Perfect. All that's left is the boss car. But now we're gonna counter some switches. If we hit all of them, and we hit a ninth switch up ahead, then we'll head to the hard path. I'm not gonna show that yet, but I, I said that as I hit the switch on accident with that charge shot. <laughs> But I'm gonna, I am going to show that what happens if you hit all the switches because the cutscene that happens is really freaking cool. 
But now we're encountering the boss of this stage. The experimental weapon, believe it or not, is called Mech Beth. Not named after the planet just because it's a robot and such, which is pretty stupid. You'd think with a evil scientist like Androff they come with better names for some of their weaponry, but I guess not. There's only so much time that a evil scientist can have on their hands, I suppose. Anyways, on to Macbeth. It has two attacks early on. That color attack we just saw, and that claw attack it just did. A funny thing about the claw attack is that if you're into this, if you're playing on the N64 console and you have an infinite health sheet activated during this fight, then that claw attack will continuously scoop you until the game crashes. So be sure not to have the infinite health sheet active when you're in this game because if it scoops you like that, then the game's gonna crash. Fortunately, I'm playing on the virtual console version as I stated back in the training mode video of this let's play. Now don't have to worry about that. There are some uh, turret cars and some turret towers that you can destroy that will give you bombs or rings. So you get some supplies during this fight as well. But make sure not to take too long during this fight because Macbeth does have an instant kill attack. If you reach 500 yards or about 10 minutes, then it's gonna dive bomb you, instantly killing you. So make sure not to take too long or dilly dally whatsoever. I just took out both pieces at once. Nice. Now I can move on to the second phase. When the train car opens, shoot that opening, which will make Big Beth freak out, and that's your time to shoot it. You do that a few times, then it will destroy it. There's also got two new attacks in this phase now. I'm just gonna show it. Which I'm not gonna allow because I just jumped the opening in the car. It's got some health left. It's already at 200 yards. Better not take too long, otherwise I'll get dive bombed. Okay, there's that first attack of the new phase. Gonna shoot out those pillars that we saw the cannon car shoots earlier. And it's got another attack, which for some reason when I fight this boss, it doesn't do it that much as the other attack for some reason. Just like I say that, it's gonna do that pillar fire attack again. Well, that fire pillar, pillar fire doesn't make any sense. There's some tur turret cars up ahead, you can take those over some shield rings. I just want to do his other attack, then I can finish it off. Hopefully it won't take too long before it hits the 500 yard mark. Though I'm pretty sure my luck isn't that bad. Fox, get this guy off me. As we see during the fight, as it's probably going to unleash that other attack, your allies will be chased by some enemies, so that will make it mu much easier for you to get the medal if you didn't hit all the switches early on. Peppy's really weak over this moment. Recent playthroughs, for some reason, I've always had Peppy come into this fight pretty weak. I don't know why. I'm able to take good care of him when uh, I'm at this boss fight, or at least when I play this stage. Shoot, he's right behind. Now, in trouble. Gee, now I like showing all the attacks. Wow, Falco is not in much better shape. Still got sliver pulp, but I gotta end this fight pronto. Come on, open up. There you go. I just made it lose a lot of health there, so I got a lot of it. Very nice. What's that opening though? I gotta hope Slippy comes up next if he's getting chased. Otherwise, I'm not getting the medal here. Though I'm pretty sure I'm taking too long for the hit value to go down to hit two at this point. No. Get away. Oh, I got just enough. Nice. All aircraft report. I'm fine, I'm fine. I saw my light flash before my eyes. See my ship? Does it look okay to you? Falco, you don't have to rub it in. Well, I was really reckless with my team in this fight for some reason. I'm usually not this bad when I'm when I'm at this stage, especially with my teammates. I think I was focused a little too much on trying to take out Macbeth. I may have shot them by accident at some point, and I just didn't realize it.
But in any case, we got the medal, and that's the end of the medium path. Unlike in Star Fox on the SNES, when you finish the medium path, you either go to the easy or hard path. There's no definitive end to the medium one, like there was in the uh, original Star Fox game. But that's how we got to the easy path to get back to Bulls. What would happen if we hit all the switches early on? Shoot the eight switches to open them up! Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Have you been? You're very lucky. Field analyzed. I'm here to rescue you! Okay, now shoot the switcher! Step on the gas! Step on the gas! Good going, Buck! Yeah, that's a pretty satisfying cutscene. You got, you cannot lie about that. In my opinion, that's the best one in the game because it makes for a pretty good fireworks show. But more importantly, you get that, you get that feeling that you crippled Andros's army from their weapon supply. So it's a really cool cutscene overall. Plus, it's pretty, it's pretty cool to look at. But that's it for Macbeth. Next time on Star Fox 64, we'll be going back to the hard path and finishing up the rest of the game. Until we meet again everyone, farewell for now. Captain's Log, Stardate, February 29th, 2016. We hit the jackpot today as we purged Macbeth of Andros' control. He had one of his lieutenants take control of a massive train, so that was our target. I opted to use the landmass to take it out from the ground. Eventually, I made it to the front car and confronted a tethered robot. It wasn't too tough, but the train was demolished in no time. With the weapons factory out of the way, we're one step closer to winning this war, but we'll have to double back and help out some soldiers at a battle near Corneria. Andros will get his. I'll make sure of it. End log.